when my parents died in a giant fire in the jungle. Oh wait, that wasn't my parents. That was my wife and cub. Still, it was pretty traumatic. With all the love stripped away from me, I became Bat Lion. Wow, that's a great story, and it's so relatable. I lost something too once. I was playing a game of cards, and then I realized that my deck was missing the Eight of Clubs. Couldn't have you just bought another deck? I was going to. I went to the store and found a deck. I went to check there were 52 cards, and there were, including the Eight of Clubs. Everything was good. But then I went up to the counter to pay, and I told the cashier that I really wanted to buy this deck of cards. He told me, well, you're gonna have to pay. And I said, that's fine. How much do you need? And he looked at me dead straight in the eyes and told me, I need about three diddy. Three diddy? Oh. Well, it was about that time that I noticed that the cashier was about eight stories tall and was a... This doesn't have anything to do with the title of a movie. We should probably move on to the next scene. Lila, you're an adolescent now, and you don't have that much longer left in school. You need to find a job. What? And become a boring adult like you? No offence, Mum, but I really don't want to end up like you. Um, ouch? And I don't have to. I know someone who can help me out of this. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a custard pie being thrown by a very strong and angry clown? No, it's Super Jack! <laughs> My room! You don't want to end up like me, huh? Did someone order a pizza? Uh, no. Lila was hoping you could get her out of having a look for a job. So you don't want any pizza? No, Super Drag, you can go. Grassi! Let's get on the road, Lila. If you want your bedroom repaired, I'd suggest going out and finding a job. I'm not paying for this. Simba! Who would have you married if I didn't exist? Your mum. Why? So I could make another you, and then I'd marry you again. Nice recovery, but I don't think it works that way. Also, would you really want to sleep with my mum? Hell yeah. Okay, that's not the answer I was hoping for. Why? What's wrong with your mum? Don't you think she's a bit old? She's not that old. The only thing wrong with your mum is she's poor. She's not poor! She runs the Rainbow Apartments all by herself! Yeah, but she sets the lease really low. Seriously, Nala, how is your mum keeping that thing afloat? Ding dong. Who goes there? Sorry to intrude, your majesties. But I'm going to be finishing school soon and I'm looking for a job. Are there any advisory positions open at the Royal Court? Not right now, I'm afraid. But we'll keep you in mind. Thanks for asking. You know, the hospital is always looking for help. And the delivery store too. Especially with Christmas coming up. I'd try those two places. If that doesn't work, go and see my mum. You're right, Simba. She probably could use some help running those apartments. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime doll. Sure, Lila. I can get you a job. Can you do something for me now, actually? We have a patient in bad shape, and we'd like to use the health crystal. Can you go and get it for me? It's hidden up in that oak tree. Okay. I don't see it, Aunt Winda. Where is it hidden? You don't see it? It should be sitting right next to you. It's pretty big. It's hard to miss. Well, then it's not here. Dr. Winda, get in here. I need you to help me with this patient. Come in. All right, well, thanks for letting me know, Lila. I'll get back to you. I I've got to go. See you later. Send me a kiss, Bawa. They made my house on fire. Rachel, can you get me a job? You said you work for Santa, right? Well, kind of. I work at a delivery store, so we get quite busy around Christmas. Can I get a look in the warehouse? I mean, there's not much to see. It's boring, really. Ooh, boring! Then it must be a job. Mum and Dad would be so proud of me. All right, job, here I come. Oh, no. This, 
This isn't a warehouse. This is a winter wonderland. Wait, is that? Ho ho ho, what do we have here? Who is this cub? An intruder, I fear. No, it's okay, Santa. She's with me. She wants a job here, so I thought I'd show her around. Well, that changes everything. Hello, little girl. Let me give you some tasks. We'll give this a whirl. Really? Awesome. It would be great to work for you, Santa. But I must ask, I've always wondered, how do you get to so many houses in one night? A great question to ask. Let me show you, young one. I have a magic crystal here. It gads. It's gone. Oh, no. Without that crystal, Santa doesn't have any magic. Christmas can't come. Wait, a magic crystal's gone missing? Just like at the hospital. I was trying to get a job there too, and- What's that little one? A job search, you say? Well, don't let this slow you down. Please be on your way. I'll get back to you with some tasks at hand. But Rachel and I must solve this first. I hope you understand. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, and you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, come on and tell me I'm your own. Serafina, I've been looking all over town for a job. You think you can get me one here? My bedroom got destroyed and I need money to pay for it. Oh, my. Well, look, I can help you out, out of the goodness of my heart. Here's a gold crumb. Oh, um, thanks. What's this worth? Eight dollars? One thousand. One thousand? Yeah, it's just a piece that's fallen off. Fallen off? Off of what? <laughs> S Serafina, if this is one thousand dollars, what's that worth? Sixty trillion. And you just have it sitting in your apartment? Well, what else am I going to do with it? Nobody can know I have this, Lila. Nobody will want to be my friend anymore. They'd only like me for the money. And no, I can't give it a charity. If people found out there was this much gold in the world, it would lose its value. This wouldn't be worth anything anymore. Okay, wait. If nobody can know about this, why are you telling me this? You want a job, don't you? If you're going to work for me, Lila, I need to know you can keep secrets. I'm giving you a valuable item to you as a favour. Can I trust you? Y yes absolutely Serafina. D does anybody else know about this? Nobody. Not even your daughter? Kin Simba? Your husband? Lila, please don't talk about my mate. Oh, jeez, sorry, Serafina, I didn't know. It's okay, it's just... He, he died a traumatic death in a fire in the jungle, and I don't like to think about it. I've never even talked about him with Nala. Jeez, Serafina, I, I feel I've gone in way too deep here. Look, look, I'm sorry I asked, okay? Here's a gold back if you like it. I'll, I'll put it back with the rest. No, keep it, Lila. I've got plenty of gold to keep me. What? Where's my gold? I, I don't know. But, but, but I think I know how to find out. The health crystal and Santa's crystal also went missing today. I bet whoever took those was also the one who took your gold. Police Chief Arctic, someone stole the health crystal. Someone stole Santa's crystal. And somebody stole my pottery vase. Hmm. Was it a shiny pottery vase? Yes, very shiny and very valuable. All right then. Faye? Yes, Arctic? Can you think of anyone who would steal a bunch of shiny items? No. All right. Hmm. I think I may have another idea. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Super Drag? No, it's... <laughs> Wait, yes, it is Super Drag. Did someone order a pizza? No, Super Drag. We have a crime to attend to. Whoa, look at that, Bat Lion. Another superhero. I'm the only superhero this county. <laughs> A jaguar. A lion. No, a jaguar. A lion. Super drag. I think Lenny thinks you're saying I'm a drag. You are. I'm a jaguar. I keep telling you I'm a lion. Why do you keep asking me? This is a big crime that's taken place. We need both of you superheroes to work together on this. The health crystal, Santa's crystal, 
and the pottery vase have gone missing. Without them, nobody in town can be healed and there won't be Christmas. And Serafina is poor. This sounds like the biggest crime of a century. We must solve this at once. There's no pizza involved. I'm not interested. Goodbye. No, wait. We need him. Why do we need him, Batlion? You said yourself you're the only superhero this town needs. I said that before I knew what we were up against. A guy who's going around stealing things? That doesn't sound too bad. I could answer you. But I'd rather play a flashback that you can't see, but that would explain everything. Uh, okay. Wait, my wife and cub did survive a fire? And they live in these lands? And I don't have to be Batlion anymore? I'm sorry to get your hopes up, Saraka. Yes, Serafina and Nala survived the fire, and they live in safety now. But I still need you to be Batlion. You cannot visit your family yet. Why not? There will be two wars soon in the Pride Lands. One where Scar is killed, and one where Zero is killed. A lot of these bad guys want to kill Nala because she is not one of their cubs. But while they think her father is out of the picture, they will let her live. If you showed up, they would target her. So once Zero is killed, I can return to my family and stop being Batlion? No. Shortly after Zero is killed, there will be a third crisis, brought about by the absence of two crystals. You must be Batlion. You must play a role in stopping this war. Once the third war is over, you may hang up the mask and be reunited with your family. Shady, I found a job for Lila. Uh, Lenny, what happened to your mane? It grew in. Don't you like it? I kind of had grown used to you with the shorter mane. Okay, I'll cut it back. Thanks. Anyhow, this job for Lila pays $400,000. I find that hard to believe. It says right here, this employee would be entitled to 401k. Ah. I should go and tell Lila. Where is she? She's at school, Lenny. She's taking an evening class. Can anybody tell me? Anyone? It was Benjamin Frank Lyon, guys. Benjamin Frank Lyon discovered electricity. <sighs> Class dismissed. Well, she has signed us a lot of homework. I don't think I'm going to come out of my room tonight. At least you have a room. Mine got destroyed. Sorry about that. It's not your fault. It was Super Drags. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough... Now everyone's worried about this criminal going around the town stealing all the important stuff. I, I know what I heard. I hope they get it all back soon. The health crystal, the Santa's crystal, Serafina's gold. Me too. But wait, how did you know about Serafina's gold? That's what went missing, right? Yeah, but Serafina told everyone that it was a pottery vase. Oops. What's going on, Herrick? Well, it all started when I was a cub. Oh no, we're not listening to this. Wolfred! I tell you the tale, a dragoon named Herrick, he is poor and his mother is mean. He grew up loving heroes, so became super drag, and through his adventures a gold he has seen. So, wait, you're super drag? And you know about Serafina's gold? Yes. So, why are you in school? You could be out there solving the crime. I'm in school still because I'm super drag too much. I get tired fighting crime at night, so I'm sleepy in the day. And so I do bad in school and then I keep getting held back and that just makes my mum madder. She's poor and she needs me to help her make money. Does she know you're super drag? No, that would, that would be a big problem. Why? Because she's a criminal. She's, wait, your mum stole the crystals and the gold, didn't she? She needs the money and you're not helping with the investigation because you don't want her to get caught. Can you, can you blame me? I don't agree with what she did, Lila, but 
she's my mother and I don't want her to get arrested. So what do you want? Well, I want the items to be returned, but I can't do it myself. I, I know where she keeps them, but I don't know where they go. Even if I did, I, I couldn't return them. If anyone saw me with them, my mother would instantly be a suspect and they'd get her. I know where they go, Havoc. I was shown all three of them. Tell me where they are. I'll make sure they go back. Yes, Lenny, I, I did. I needed it to get my room repaired, but it was a big mistake and I want to put it all back. You know I mean well. Do you think you can help me? <sighs> sure, Lila. I've done some stupid stuff too. I think I can't... My card. My eight of clubs. You stole my eight of clubs! Huh? Hey, everybody! Lila stole the eight of clubs! And all the other stuff. <laughs> Lila, you, you stole all this. You put our patrons in danger. Some of them could have died. I trusted you in my wonderland. You're on the naughty list forever. Let this be a lesson to all you viewers. Never steal anyone's eight of clubs. Did someone order a pizza? No, Super Drag. We just discovered who had stolen all of the stuff around town. No thanks to you. Yeah, get lost, Super Drag. Some superhero you are. I agree. <gasps> Super Drag, the way you abandoned the fight was very cowardly. And you should be punished too. Everyone, I brought us all pizza to eat in front of Super Drag. I think it would be like super ironic. If we all just take this pizza right now, in front of him. <laughs> Don't eat that. Huh? The, the pizza was spiked. Things were not going well for you, Super Drag. But the town needs to trust you. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. Those pizzas were spiked with a mixture that will make everyone forget that these items were ever stolen. Now you and Lila return those items and Super Jack keep being you. You are the hero this town needs. You owe me big for taking the heat for your mum. That's fair. Do you want me to buy us pizza? They're in love. Whoa, Batlion, wait up. I, I have so many questions to ask. Like, why did you not let me get spiked? Where, why are you retiring? Where are you going now? How do you stop Harak's mother from stealing those items again? She won't steal those items again. Because I'm going to give her a bit of our gold. Enough for her to get by for now. Our gold? Look, I'm willing to give you a piece as a payment, but I'm still the victim here. It's still my gold. Nonsense. It's our gold. Now let's get back to our apartment. Uh, excuse me? I live alone. You're not married to me. Yes, I am. Since when? Since we both said our vows on our wedding day. It's Matringa Six Trees, latest fad. A lame superhero named Super Drag. 
is older and Lila. Yes, that's true. But they're both adolescents. So screw. No! I did not think this through.